Hello everyone, welcome back to Fulgrim Gaming's Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII, and here we are with a cutscene. Cloud. Hey, how are you? I just want to know, which is it going to be? You want to find out about yourself, or are you afraid to find out? Either way, you stay around here and all you can do is worry about it. Even if you go nuts again when you see Sephiroth, if it happens, it happens. I'll go upside your spiky white head and bring you back to normal. Cloud, it'll be alright, we're all with you. But... If it happens, it happens. Don't worry about it. Baird really knows how to yeah, like, work I know, up a... Right? Like, You're right. He's right, isn't he? Come on, let's go and find Ares. All right, so now we have to go to Bone Village, which actually... Which is all the way up north. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to know you're supposed to go there. Like, did they tell... <laughs> did they mention that? Or? I think... I think... Didn't Bears mention it, like, in her little scene in the forest? Oh, she I might think she might have yet. mentioned Bone Village, and they have to go past that forest, the City of the Ancients. All right, luckily, they docked our little tiny Bronco, like, right here for us. Yeah, thank God. Now, if I remember correctly, we got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boys! Oh, what a great way to start the episode! Yeah, leaving it in there. I guess it's... All right, I've got to explain myself, because I hate doing that crap. <laughs> No. When I have coffee, it makes my throat dry, alright? So when it happens, it... it what, like Bear said, when it happens, it happens. I can't control it. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Anyway. Right, well, what, he has to, yeah, what he has to do is just navigate these little rivers beside the coasts all the way up north, what it looks like outside of the eastern continent, right? Yeah, we gotta go up to that very north continent, and what I, from what I remember, you have to go all the way around this continent here. Oh, that's kind of ridiculous, but Like, you see the little canal, like, between... Actually, between the middle and the right continents, you can kind of, like... I don't think there's yeah, any way I to go that way. You can't go that way? You can't go through that little piece as of land? As far as I know, these little, like, the areas that the tiny Bronco can go don't extend far enough for you to go that way. Oh, that's a dirty I think thing. two okay. options. I think you can actually go to the left of the top continent and go all the way around, or go the, all the way around this continent here, so... Either way, it's kind of quite a trip. Yeah, either thing. way, you're gonna you better pack some sandwiches because this is gonna take yeah, forever. Yeah, for real thing. Like, look but. how long we've been here, and we're still just barely getting to the top. And I'm actually not even sure where to go once we get up there. I mean, look, I'm pretty sure it's that little dot, right? Yeah, That's the bottom dot, dot is that, is it, but I'm not sure if we can. This is. I'm, <laughs> I'm hope. I'm hoping the water will connect. It looks like it will. Though. I swear, if it doesn't. If it doesn't, then we've just taken this whole trip for no and reason. And my voice cracked for no reason. <laughs> And your voice cracked, and it was hilarious. There we go. I think we gotta go around the little thing here, and... Is there you go. You know there you're we go. The big bones in the forest thing. I like how it's actually called Bone Village, and it's shaped like bones. Like, oh my... It looks like a dinosaur to me. Yeah. Alright, so here we have, like, a little mini-game. You wanna go ahead and explain it? Yeah, this uh, area right here, you're actually gonna have to find something called the Lunar Harp, and you can hire up people to go ahead and dig for you. They're what, excavators, right? Yeah, right here, you have to get the Lunar Harp to continue with the game, uh, but there are actually other things you can find here. And yeah, there's a few other items. I'm not gonna show everything that we can get right now, because we can't even get most of it right now. We have to wait till the second, third disc. I'll probably, yeah. what I'll end up doing is make a, uh, a bonus episode with most, like, an explanation of Bone Village, because this place is actually kind of detailed or deep I guess can't you get a key to somewhere here a key to I think it's a sector 5 slums or something yeah, like that yeah yeah you can get a key to so you can enter back into Midgar I'm pretty is sure that, this is the only yeah isn't it's that the only place you can get it how you get I think it's either Tifa's final limit break no final yeah that's how you get weapon. back to, that's how you get back to Walmart I don't know if you guys remember that little shop we went in it had like a mounted machine gun if you try to go in there we try to shoot you yeah that's yeah. where you get All Tifa's right. I think I don't know what it is now pretty much what you gotta do here is you gotta put the people in the uh like in order I oh, guess, I see. like, I know where the Lunar Harp is, it's like right here, but... You just put them around the general area? Select the dig point by moving to the point, I am pressing the square button. <laughs> awesome. Oh, there we go. Alright, there you go. Uh, what you have to do is, like, that's where the Lunar Harp is, you have to place the people around it. You don't have to place, I think you can place up to five people, and what happens is they will point in the direction of, like, the Lunar Harp, and, yeah. but luckily we already knew where it was at, but after... It should be in that box. Yep, it'll be right here. Ether. Oh, what the f wow. are you kidding me? <laughs> that was where the lunar harp was. Oh, well, dig again. All right, now you got to get all lined up. That's ridiculous. That's hilarious. I knew. I know the lunar harp is right there. Like Dang, I 100 percent know the lunar harp is like literally right here. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh, no, it's here. <laughs> maybe I just. Maybe there's also a chance of getting an ether. I don't know. 
Oh, well, we, you guys remember how much we were, like, crying for ethers. Now we get one, and we're just like, I, we want a lunar heart. supposed to be, maybe you have to put, I don't think you have to put all the people out here, because, I mean, it doesn't matter. They're going to point to the area anyway. All right, you tell him to start digging. He's the only one guy. That's all you need. I, whatever. You know what? If this isn't it, I'm just going to cut it out so we actually get it, because I know, like, it's literally, you see, it's like, <laughs> you can see the little points of the tent. It's kind of, like, in the middle of the tent in the other area. I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, they've got some potions and ethers hidden in the same spot. There, I told ah, you. There it it is. Was, there. Why didn't we get it the first time? I don't know. Anyway, full grown luck. Not yeah, full grown luck. But anyway, what we got to do with the lunar harp is we have to go through here and wake in the forest with it. Yes, this is the sleeping forest. You guys might remember this from the flashback with Ares. This is where she actually what headed out to fight Sephiroth herself. Yeah, people like were floating out of the trees and stuff. Remember that? Yes. Yeah, speaking of floating, I think there's a floating materia in here if I can remember right. Yep. Uh, it's the it's red summon material, which is yeah, it's a summon. It's kind of, it kind of like disappears off the screen a little bit. So there it is. Go go. Oh I yeah, Kajada. Kajada. That's what I'm, I'm not really sure say. how to pronounce it, but it's actually kind of cool. If you go to the or the material and just look at it, it doesn't have an, a material. Uh, uh, what's it called? Hey, nice organization. Yeah, here, I know an element. It doesn't have a, an element, but when you cast it, I think it does ice and fire and lightning, probably. What the? Oh, it's such a combination of all the yeah, elements. Yeah, but as far like you would think that would be a really good thing to link it to, like to an elemental material on your armor, yeah. so you could be immune to all that stuff. But that's not how it but works. It doesn't work that way. No. Nope. Awesome. Water ring will be useful coming up. And another thing that's kind of bad about that summon is that if you use that summon on something and it's immune to any one of those like elements it uses it's completely immune it'll to help attack. them yeah oh, awesome so i'm bit. not sure what the point of that like summon exactly is wow i forgot I to i, I forgot weird. to exchange like everybody oh that's right then we're gonna be switching up our party we're gonna have cloud sid and vincent yeah sid is going to probably be uh getting a bigger role here pretty yeah soon. he's gonna be a little bit more of a predominant party member soon but I don't know. This episode is prob actually I was planning on it being kind of a short episode, but it might not be all that short. Yeah, because we're moving through it pretty quickly. I was yeah, alright, so Tifa, These enemies like, are kinda weird right here. I'm really wishing we had like Vincent and Sid right now. Vincent and Sid, I mean Tifa's alright, I guess, but I'm not really I don't hey, see I'd rather have Sid on my side. He's got a harpoon. I'd rather have that better than just fists. Fists, right. yeah. Even well, yeah. she does have some really weak items equipped to her, so uh, oh, well, well, let's switch them out. They're not really that useful Apparently right now. Apparently my counterattack right leveled there. up. Nice. I don't think we can use PH here. Nope. All right, so where's awesome. the nearest save well, spot? I know coming up, there's going to be a spot where you're on the world map. Oh, yeah. That's, I think that's like yeah, literally right after this. Cause you, yeah, yeah, you're like behind the, the mountains or whatever. Yep. I think All right, good thing I everything. Oh, this is kind of a cool perspective here. Look at that. Oh, that's actually... Anyway, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool perspective. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, there's a dig site on Fallout New Vegas where you can, like, stand on top of the hill and look down oh, at the Oh, is cranes. that when you, uh, fight, like, one of the superhuman behemoths, I think? No, they're actually, you fight, no, that's Fallout 3, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, that's Fallout 3. But you fight the, uh, Mother Deathclaw there, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, you can, <laughs> I think I might end up doing a Fallout Let's Play sometime because I really like those games. Alright, All right, well, let's get everybody equipped Yeah, here. what I'm actually going to do is do this off-screen, because I don't know exactly what I'm going to put on everybody yet, so I will see you guys in a second, and I will explain what I did after this. Alright, so I'm not going to go into, how, like, exactly what we did, but basically we made Sid a powerhouse, gave him, like, all of the HP Two pluses. HP pluses, I think, yeah. The reason we did that is because the weapon we gave him doesn't have any link slots, so you might as well get Yeah, we gave him a Dragoon Lance. It has, like, all the full amount of materia slots, but none of them are linked, unfortunately. Yep. Now, there's actually a couple of hidden items around here that I'm not sure exactly where all of them are. But, yeah, by the way, I love the music in this area. I had to put that out there. Yeah, I think this is probably most people's favorite, like, theme. Not, maybe not most yeah, people, it but is a awesome. lot of people. There's a guard source up here in this treasure chest. Have we even used any of our sources? I've just used them off camera. Like, they're not all oh. that, like, worth it, really, in my opinion. Yeah. All right, now if we go up here... If I don't get stuck on the corner there... Okay, <laughs> gang, I can hear the keys clicking. Yeah, over here, I think this is where the uh, new... I don't want to... Yeah, it's up here. All right, so here we go. What is this? An elixir. An that might become those are always useful. useful in a minute. I think this is the room. You don't want to sleep here right now because... Well, I guess you would... You would oh, my God. Yeah, if you want to continue with the story, you have to sleep here. But oh, we don't want that. to. We got some items But over here, there is an enemy skill material. Ooh, now we got three of them. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, that means now we're gonna have to go back and get all the other freaking enemy skills for it. But I'll do that off camera sometime. Ooh, like, that's man. gonna take forever. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what is over in these areas, but I know if we go back to the left where we went to that little crossroads area, there's another this building. Is these buildings are like made out of seashells or conch shells or something. They look kind of ridiculous. Are we here, like, in the ocean or something? Like I, this thing is right in the middle of that river. Remember behind Bone Village or whatever that is? Yeah, I guess it's, so. It's like in the middle of that body of water. So it looks kind of cool. Thing looks aquatic. All right. So if we go in this building right here, I think there's another little item in here and a safe spot apparently. And a safe spot, yeah. But what is What's this? What's up, dude? Magic. Ooh, magic. magic oh, sword. more sources. Ooh, what's been the back of the house, Nick? And that's nothing. I thought there was going to be like a basement or something. But... Yeah, I know. But this area over here, if I can remember right, should be pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool area, but the item you get is less... Well, it's alright, but... I think it's called an Aurora Armlet. Let me oh, check. is it any good? Aurora Armlet, but I'm not sure if it's any better than what we have. Like the Adam and Bangle. Let's check it out. Not really. Nope. I mean, it's got a couple Link slots and stuff, and it drains cold, so... When it says drains, does that mean you actually absorb it? I think you absorb it. Either that or it just makes the attack weaker. I don't remember. I think what happens is, is just say something uses an, uh, an ice attack on you. I'm pretty sure what happens is you, like, get HP from that. Uh, I don't remember. I know some of them put, it like, what, half damage from lightning and all that. Like, we have a dragon armlet on, on uh, Sid that has a description like that. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what that does. If you know, I guess you could leave it in the comments or whatever, but... Alright, so now I'm gonna go check up there above that one building that we didn't go in a second ago. And after that, okay. I'm just gonna progress the storyline a little bit. Yep, sleep in the hotel thing. Yeah, alright, so left or right, which way should we go? Oh, okay, well, I don't know. Oh, hey, Cloud, Ooh, dang. all right. You're thinking of skiing? If we funnel find errors, we gotta go that way. Alright, so apparently all we right, can't fine. even go that way. I'm not actually, now that I think about it, you probably can't go this way either. What did he mention skiing for? Oh, because wait, up I there's know. the uh, the mountain or whatever. Yeah. Oh, dang. Is this, this is just the just other here? side of where we were at? I think this is the other side of that thing. Yeah, this is just. Ooh, dang. This I is kind don't of even. Cool I do not remember this area being here. Neither do I. But I don't think there's <laughs> wow. anything up here. So, oh well. Let's go back. Now, what I I'm gonna do? Seen, yeah, dude. I've never seen that before. I've never gone up this high. Never have I. But what I'm gonna do, like I said, is going to. I'm going to go sleep at the inn. Or not, maybe it's not even an inn, I don't know what to call that. But I'm just going to call it a hotel, fine. A hotel up here in, like, the ocean. Like, yeah, I'm going to sleep in the shell here. Alright, so, like I said, I'm going to go get the enemy skill stuff that we missed later, but not now. So we're going to take a rest here. I'm assuming this is going to heal HP and NP, because what bay should, doesn't huh? do that? Alright, so let's see what happens. You said this is going to progress the story now, right? Yep, I think we're going to wake up in the middle of the night, yep. Ooh, dang. I feel it. What's wrong? Ares is here, and so is Sephiroth. If that's true, then we're in for it. Hey, how do you know? It's not an excuse. I feel it in my soul. If that's true, we should hurry. Something terrible could happen at any moment. Right, let's hurry and find Ares. Alright, so I didn't realize Eris was in this much trouble, but I guess when she did go to find Sephiroth by herself... Yeah, know. when she's saying I can kill him or something, handle him on my own, you know she's gonna get into trouble, guys. Alright, so well, what we're gonna have to do is go try and bust Eris out of this horrible situation that we... Or that she put herself in. We tried Yeah, she to put her. herself in it, alright? Don't we have to actually head to, like, the middle building or something? Yep. Apparently Eris' voice Aeris's is coming voice from there. coming from there. <laughs> yep. But we, had, we gotta go in the middle here. I think we could've gone here earlier, but we couldn't've progress the storyline until we slept in that inn over there maybe sid would have stopped us from going in like he did oh from yeah us maybe going, but going i think there's skiing i think there's a not a summon material maybe there is there's another material in here remember. regardless but i'm not sure what it is oh yeah is yeah, yeah. i remember what it is it's comet material comet comet yep dang that reminds me of meteor that's one thing that i never really did use though so Comet hey, what if we could summon Meteor this early in the game? That'd be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. I know Comet 2 is actually pretty useful if you take the time to level it up. Which man. I probably will do. I'm not probably going to equip it right now, but what I will do is keep it in my back pocket for later. Here it is. Dang, there you go. And now that we've progressed the storyline in the end, we can actually cross this little bridge here. Those are actually like stairs, dang. Ooh, this is an awesome looking area. Now, I hate to keep saying this, but this reminds me of Kingdom Hearts because I don't know if you oh, if you played it. I'm not sure how like if you played it, but at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts One, there's an area like this where you're like in the darkness and you're like walking on this kind remember. of stairs and stuff. Oh wait, that's what you're looking at, like the stained glass uh, windows yeah, yeah. and stuff, right? Oops. Yeah, all right, I remember that. All right, so now let's go through here, and there's a safe spot which we're going to use. 
yeah, because ahead, we have it. some stuff coming up. That's all I have to say. Yeah, we have some pretty deep stuff coming up. All right, and actually, I think this is going to be a pretty good place to end this episode because this, like I said, the next episode is going to be full of stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and I want to see you guys back for the next episode. Yep.